welcome back to a very special edition of The Block Unlocked. Now, for super fans, Steve and Chantel, getting on the block was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And straight off the bat, their creativity and quirky style caught the eye of the judges. This art is so cool. They got it. Steve and Chantel delivered such a great challenge room. Uh, it was a really good start. And um, I think we were expecting a lot from them. I know I was expecting a sense of fun, a sense of innovation, experimentation. I knew that they were rookies. They'd never done this before. They were bringing no experience to the block, but now that's all part of the game. But after the high of making it through the elimination round faded, the reality of the block was far from what they imagined it to be. This whole experience started out for me as a dream, then quickly plummeted into a nightmare. Mm, I hate painting. I feel sorry for these. These newbies. It's a big deal. These newbies are coming into a pretty tough one straight up, I reckon. Mm. And when it came to their first room delivery, their inexperience really showed. That first room we were so proud of. Uh, we worked so, so hard, I think harder than any other couple because we needed to, because we didn't know what the hell we were doing. So I think we'd prepared to hear the scores uh, and maybe even prepared to come last, but but I, I don't think I prepared for the comments. And I really don't think, I, I certainly wasn't prepared to hear how horrible my styling was. I don't like this room. The styling, I feel it's a little bit try hard. Neil thinks you need to learn some styling tips. And that really cut deep, and I think if I had been prepared, it wouldn't have been so difficult to hear. It really shook my confidence, and I thought, what am I doing here? I don't have any right to be here at all. And things for Chantel and Steve got a lot worse before they got any better. Week on week, the design side of things, we just stand there and get slaughtered for things I was so hopeful and proud of. Just like, I'm like a little kid, and like, ah! And then you hear comments coming, you're like, oh, oh, oh. Get oh. bashed down. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the styling is just a bit off. <laughs> and I'm looking at the sink here and thinking, why? I don't know why you would have your cutlery drawer over here. I think the whole shock of the, the show and the, the hours that you've got to work just caught up with me physically and, um, yeah, we'll turn that around. I think what constantly surprised me about Steve and Chantel was their ability to bounce back. We all know they had a tough block, but they seemed to keep smiling and keep laughing through it. I'm sure there were very dark moments for them at, at times as well, but they did seem to bounce back. They seemed to have the ability to dust themselves off and, and just get on with it. You need to get more vitamins, better food, more water, more sleep, and maybe a little victory along the way somewhere would help to um, poke us up a little bit too. And by week seven, it was the victory that finally came, with Steve and Chantel taking home their first and only room win for their living dining area. I think my favourite moment was when they revealed the living dining, when we thought, oh, oh, they actually know what they're doing. This is a bit cool. And the fact they'd thought of a really great design of that little nook for the little dining area, loved it and then took that all the way around to the fireplace and saved the apartment. Yeah, we also came really damn close. We lost the master bedroom ensuite walk-in robe in the hallway by half a point. So for us, I feel like the master was a win. I know we didn't win 10 grand, but for us that was so close. A nine, a 10 and a nine, that's saying that you've got a really amazing master ensuite walk-in robe in hallway. The master ensuite was just masterful. The Vanities were just sophisticated and smart. The storage, the lighting, everything that is a good bathroom was in that room. And I could not have been more pleased with that result. This is really, really beautiful. It's stunning. It is absolutely stunning. I think that was the week when they really showed what they could do. That was the week when they really, really seized the brief and it felt like their confidence was in full swing. And it was also the week for me when I felt they had finally understood what a loft apartment was all about. 
They struggle you so much. You literally have goosebumps. I have. You I'm literally a have goosebumps. Actually. I don't cry often, and I've cried. <laughs> <laughs> and it was awesome. And just who do Chantel and Steve think will be their lucky buyer on auction day? Probably late 40s, early 50s, a professional who wants the flexibility of working from home. Yeah, and of course, investors. Creative entrepreneur, don't you reckon? Yeah, yeah. Sort of like a Melbourneian Richard Branson. Possibly meets. a designer. Yep, artist. Whoever buys Steve and Chantel's apartment is getting a great warehouse space in a heritage listed building, which is probably one of the most beautiful buildings in Albert Park. The block is probably the most challenging working environment you'll ever face in your life. And to be able to complete the block successfully, it's success in itself. Coming up, the boys have high hopes for their buyer. I actually had a buyer in mind from the start. Did you? Yeah. And they're filthy rich. <laughs>